Hey guys, it's pretty rare that I show anything related to RF when I'm doing some of these SDK tutorials, but wanted to throw a little bit of love to the EW guys and show you something that I think is kind of a good way to instructionally teach different concepts when it comes to RF interference. So here in this scenario, we have this comm satellite that is communicating with the terminal up in the Bay Area, and along comes this radar that's up in Alaska that's just throwing RF all over the world. And it's kind of predictable what's going to happen here, but we'll just push play. The radar is spinning, 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 sweeps through the area, sweeps through the area. And I think the question to ask is, is this going to impact the communications of comm satellite or one of these alternate uh, communication satellites that's out there moving around? And SDK has tools uh, called Spectrum Analyzer that kind of lets us see, understand, and kind of visualize what that's going to look like. So moving away from the globe and just into spectrum, what we have here is this comm node. So we'll turn that on and we have our radar sweeper. And what we're gonna do is just lock to that alternate commsat receiver. So essentially there's this S-band receiver on this alternate satellite. And we're gonna watch how the spectrum changes over time as you see that radar sweep through. So what you're seeing outlined in white here is the a communications node coming out of that antenna in San Francisco. And then in green is that narrow band S band signal that's sweeping around with the radar. Here you can see the type of received power that the comm node is outputting. And then this is basically saying that the radar is at the noise floor right now. And it's just being visually depicted so you can see where it's at in space. Let's go ahead and push play and watch this scenario. So what you're seeing in green there is that radar pulse sweeping through over that beam area. Slow it down just a little. And it seems like every one and a half minutes that radar sweeps through and goes well above the received power. So you can see something on the order of 30 dB higher when the radar is directly over the target area and then it falls again. Okay, so a pretty interesting way to at least show how spectrum changes over time. Uh, let's take a look at the scope for the comm satellite, which has different limitations on it than this uh, random satellite where we're just kind of looking at what its transponder is seeing. So switching over to the comm satellite, this satellite is basically limited in that it will maintain lock on whatever its primary signal is up to 3 dB. So right now its primary lock signal is that comm node out of uh, California. But once that radar sweeps through its transponder, you're going to see that it loses lock and it now locks onto that narrow band signal. Let's kind of watch this happen. So we're gonna see the dBs climb for uh, the receive power, there it goes. And then you're gonna watch it lose lock and then come back. So you see it basically lost lock on the entire signal and all the nulls because it got to that approximately negative 116 uh, received power. And then once the radar fell again, it was able to lock back on to that primary link. So that's a pretty cool way to visualize a change in lock. We can also do something like a spectrogram where we can watch this happen over time, like a might call this a waterfall chart. Let's go ahead and see how, right now we're locked on good comm signal. At some point, uh, we'll lock onto that narrow band signal. You can speed up time, watch it happen in increasingly rapid intervals. There you can see basically these dashed lines indicating uh, the radar is overhead. I think kind of what's informative is doing a side-by-side -side comparison so letting someone understand that there's this sort of physical connection, this physical world happening over here, and then there's the RF world happening over here. Anyway, I just thought this was kind of a cool way to show spectrum and show satellites moving and uh, gives you sort of this different look at how uh, interference sources, blue on blue, can impact comlinks.